<laughs> Hello! Welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today I want to talk about pounding and impact sports like running. Uh, I used to think that I couldn't run downhill or that hiking downhill was so bad for my knees because it was the pounding that caused my knee pain. And a lot of people think this, a lot of my clients, and maybe you do too, if you have something like shin splints or hip pain or knee pain while doing an impact sport such as running, um, possibly hiking. So I wanna talk about that today because I have since found in the last five years that it is not the pounding that causes the pain. I can run downhill at a pretty good pounding pace um, and not worry about pain at all if my body is healthy and ready to do something like that. So what is it that actually allows you to pound down a mountain, whether running or hiking? It's the amount of spring in your fascial system. So, you know, that fascial system is meant to be like a giant system of springs in our body that absorbs impact and allows us to spring out of it. And most of us as adults have unhealthy fascia to a certain degree because we haven't really learned as a culture yet or a species to take care of it along the way. This is one of the reasons I'm doing what I do to help educate all of us to do the things we love without pain. So really there are two things to think about with this pounding issue that a lot of people consider bad. I do not consider it bad. In fact, I actually think it helps kind of you know, keep our bones strong and whatnot. Um, so the first, like I said, is that spring in your fascial system. So the more you can open up your entire body, fascially speaking, to give it that spring that it needs, the better you're off you're gonna be through something like running downhill or hiking downhill. Uh, the other thing to consider is what you are prone to. So me, for example, uh, maybe you know my story by now, but I had knee pain really bad. It stopped me from running for eight years and hiking for six. And I always thought it was the downhill pounding. It was so bad for my knees. And now I know that it's just because I'm prone to that. Going downhill puts my knee in a position that is prone to knee pain because of the fascial dysfunction that is a pattern in my body. Now, if you are prone to shin splints or hip pain, for example, your pattern is gonna be a little bit different. So you wanna figure out what your pain pattern is that makes you prone to pain through something like running or hiking downhill. Um, and then as much as you can, just open up your entire fascial system and that's gonna give you kind of the boost that you need to be able to run um, without that really being an issue. So this one was a little shorty but goody like me. <laughs> Um, I hope you found this useful. If you have questions, of course, let me know, but use any of the techniques you can find on Mobility Mastery or elsewhere online to open up that fascial system. Get your spring back and go run downhill and have fun like a kid because it's kind of fun to fly down. If you found this helpful or you know someone who is a runner or a hiker and they struggle with the downhill part due to knee pain or foot pain or anything like that, please share. Um, and of course, subscribe on the YouTube channel and mobilitymastery.com and find us on Facebook. I would love to hear from you and I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.